Coming up, 1,000 people line up for shots. Vaccinations, that is. And later, Luca Garza did what? Welcome to DITV Now, your flash update on all the biggest headlines coming out of the Daily Iowa Newsroom. I'm Michael Merrick. And I'm Sophia Perez. Phase 1B of vaccinations has begun, and University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics is on top of its game. UIHC vaccinated roughly 1,000 people in one day. That's the entire vaccination supply they were given for the week. Eligible Johnson County residents were randomly selected to receive the vaccine. UIHC gets a weekly supply of vaccinations from Johnson County Public Health. The mass vaccination campaign yesterday means they won't be able to vaccinate anyone else until the next shipment next week. Uh, as exciting as it has been for the pay, uh, people that were able to get vaccinated today and for the staff that participated in it, it's, uh, it's also a, a bit trying and a bit bittersweet because we know there's still thousands of Johnson County residents and, and Iowa residents that still are yet to receive the vaccine even though they're eligible. 1,000 vaccines in a day may sound like a lot, but Suresh said he believes UIHC has the capacity to administer two or three times as many doses in the same amount of time. For more information on UIHC's vaccination process, visit UIHC.org. Hawkeye star Luca Garza eclipsed over 2,000 career points in the win over Michigan State Tuesday night. This makes Garza the second player to ever do so for the black and gold. You know, I, I think, you know, it, it, it definitely feels better that, you know, it came with a win um, like this. So, you know, I'm definitely just, you know, lucky to have been a part, uh, you know, of, of a program like this. And you know, I'm just lucky that Coach Fran gave me the opportunity to come to the University of Iowa. Um, and, and he believed in me, you know, when some coaches didn't. And, um, you know, I'm just very thankful to be here in this position. Garza will look to add to his 2,000 point total tonight at 6 p.m. as the Hawkeyes take on fellow top 10 foe, Ohio State. Students won't be jet setting anytime soon. The University of Iowa Study Abroad is canceling all trips until August. Study abroad trips have been canceled since early last spring. Despite vaccines becoming available, the UI is concerned about the unknowns that come with travel. To some degree, we can replicate some of the goals of study abroad in a virtual format. Um, and hopefully that will set up students in this generation for many opportunities down the road when they're able to travel again. Luckily, the UI is offering online abroad internships and adapting abroad courses to fit a virtual format. Study abroad can be expensive, but there are scholarships that still apply to these online options. We're trying to keep the cost for the virtual international experiences down. Uh, we don't want it to be more expensive than it would be to take a similar course here on campus. For now, the biggest trip students will be taking is the walk to their dining hall. The pandemic has brought the world to a halt, but local theaters refuse to sit still. Theaters are navigating new mediums to share their performances. Coralville City Video Department, Coral Vision Stepped, is helping the City Circle Theater Company bring their shows to audience virtually. Some playwrights now have opportunities they may have never gotten before COVID-19 struck. Dreamwell Theater has adapted their local plays into podcasts for their audience. It just levels the playing field too for these you know, these playwrights, they have this opportunity to show their work where they they just weren't going to get it. While adapting to these necessary changes, theater creators are finding the real values in their work beyond the stage. I like to think that it's teaching the audience that theater doesn't have to be on a stage, that, that theater at its heart is about storytelling, it's about connections between a performer and an audience, and that can take many forms. Experts say that it could be a year or two before theaters can resume normally, but until then, local theater will do everything they can to keep the arts alive. Snow lovers rejoice. There is a winter storm warning from 9 a.m. today until 6 o'clock Friday morning. Plan for slippery road conditions and high winds. Looking ahead to the rest of today, we'll see a high of 36 and a drop to 12 tonight. Stay safe, Bio City. Thank you for tuning in to DITV Now. We'll be back tomorrow with the latest on the University of Iowa, Iowa City, and Hawkeye Nation. From Iowa City, I'm Michael Merrick. And I'm Sophia Perez. Have a great day.